Hi, my name is Carol Zirkel. This video shows my painting process using our cute subject, Willow. The color medium that I'll be using is Paul D. Marais oil sticks. They're real oil paints, they varnish and they cure like any other. I pick the colors I expect to use in advance, then I prepare them for the painting. Here are some of the tools that I plan to use throughout the process. They include a palette knife and a variety of brushes. My overall process is really quite simple. First you apply the paint in light layers, focusing on each color's unique composition. Then you move the paint around to blend it and get really nice edges. Since Willow's white markings create such a strong composition, I'll start with the color white. Using the white first helps map out or block in where the lightest colors will go. Next, the white is used to lighten the area around Willow's head. This gives her a nice aura. Now, I start working in the dark areas. I'm using a jet black color. I start with Willow's most important feature, the eyes. Then I work my way out from the eyes, blocking in the darkest areas of the fur. Now it's time to start adding the colorful neutrals of the background. It's really important to follow the reference picture as closely as you can. I add each of the background colors within the subject. I find that that is an effective way to ensure that there is color continuity throughout the entire piece. Throughout the painting, I try to maintain a focus on the composition of the color I am currently applying.
Here's what it looks like at the end of this layer. After applying all the other neutrals, it's time to start adding in the warmer colors. The application of this warm color helps give Willow a more three-dimensional look. Be sure to add those colors that you're using in the fur within the background wherever you can. Just remember the dark colors go a really long way. So if you use a light touch, you'll keep from getting too much dark paint within the light areas. I follow the same process with each of the other colors. Here's what it looks like after all the colors were added. Now it's time for the second step of the process, which is moving the paint to blend it and get nice edges. I start with the background, just tapping wherever the colors meet. I frequently wipe off any excess paint from my finger. That will help to keep me from over blending as I go. Next, I carefully tap in the details of Willow's face. I want to move the paint with purposeful direction. Here I am reinforcing the eyebrows. Next, I soften the edges with a medium-sized soft sable brush. I use light wispy strokes to avoid overblending. Then I use a smaller soft sable brush for the details of Willow's face. I focus on the edges where the colors meet. I want to give direction to my strokes at this point. Now's a good time to define those long blowing hairs. Then we let the initial layer dry. Once the first layer is dry, we're going to start with the details beginning with the eyes. We start with the black details first. Then we go to the white and the shiniest parts. Not forgetting, of course, to do the reflection at the top of the eye. Now I add in the warm colors of the eye and it makes it look like a real eye. After the eyes are completed, I go ahead and finish out all the other areas of the fur in the dog. To save time, we've skipped ahead. The paint was applied with a brush to refine the fur. Now I'm adjusting the color to add a glow. I'm using a tissue to wipe away some excess paint. That gives the fur a very natural look. Then I brush in the color in order to make sure that it's nice and soft. It exposes some of the other colors underneath. I use a larger brush for some of the bigger areas. Then I move to a smaller brush to get the finer, more detailed areas. Then I reinforce the whites one more time. We start with the whites and we end it with the whites.
We do a final blending of the edges, which totally brings Willow to life. And we're done. Thank you so much for your time.